really, if I was George and the baby, I wouldn't want to be around me either. It was a horrible piece of work. Hated the person that I was becoming. When you've got a child, you're like, spin up a family, like, is that the right thing to do? I think I noticed with Tommy, his mood changes quite a lot. I feel like he would, how he would normally deal with a situation, he was dealing with it different. One minute he's fine, then he's not. And like, that is quite hard to, to be around. It was literally like my brain opened up and I was like, enough's enough. Like, I can't really do this no more. Like, I just, we need to look into you more. For Georgia to stand up and say, no, you have to go and get checked. We can't throw our family away. You need to go and get checked and try and sort yourself out was the best thing that's ever happened to me. And I'm grateful for her for that. When I was actually there, I was praying that he was going to tell me there was something wrong with me. So I actually thought, please tell me there's something wrong with me. So this ain't actually how I am forever. And it turns out that like, I've got severe ADHD and leaving it untreated can lead to some really mad things. And I was there. It was a bit of hope. It was like a bit of relief. Obviously, I felt bad for him, as in, it's scary, you know, he's lived 30 years thinking that his brain has been been thinking normal. Um, but I was, yeah, I was relieved. I just felt like there was hope. It's just crazy how he's lived for 30 years with that and not known. It's actually really sad. A lot's happened over the last few months and it's really easy to become a bit of a recluse during these times. So I try my hardest to make sure like, I take some time out to make sure I see my friends. Today, Nathan's gonna come and see me. He's a very, very close friend of mine. I feel like I can talk to him about anything without being judged. What's up, you son? How are you, brother? How you been, all right? Very good. Did you order me any? Yeah, yeah in a minute, I'm ordering you, Jack. Good, good. I'll order you this with a bit of bacon as well. No, oh, that'd be days, I'm starving. You can see. Stressing out. Mom, what's up with you? Went to Mallorca to buy the house. Had the worst two weeks ever. Why? You just going to break up with Georgia. It was mental. Really? Yeah, yeah, it was heavy. Yeah, yeah. I obviously didn't realise how bad I was being, so I just thought she was being bad as well, yeah? So out there, we've left early, couldn't do it. Come home, and it's got worse. Every time we look at each other, we're arguing. I'm looking at flats now. Yeah, that bad? Yeah, it was I terrible. Didn't know that yeah, it was horrendous. It was bad. She rings me one day and says, listen, I think you should get tested for ADHD. Because I was like, I'm doing therapy and it ain't working. The worst part was I had to go and collect the keys for the villa in Spain by myself. Well, because Georgia wouldn't go here. She won't come with me. So I've bought this massive villa in Spain, yeah, for the family, and I'm there by myself with me and my dad. She ain't answering the phone. Wanted to face something the baby, can't speak to the baby, and that was like rock bottom for me. Because I thought, yeah. Why didn't you give me a ring for Mate, fuck's because sake. I thought I was just fucked. Yeah, no, Listen, you I don't know. You've got to understand saying, I just thought this is my mentality and I'm going to be like this forever, so I'm just going to end up being like this. So it doesn't matter. I didn't think there was a way out. So then what you're saying is you hit rock bottom and then and then, then you went and got, got checked it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Gone and got tested. Comes back, I've got severe, severe ADHD. Where I'm older and I've not done anything about it, it's ended up really affecting me, innit? It's really hard to explain to someone who doesn't have ADHD what ADHD is. If you mention someone ADHD, they go, everyone's got a bit of ADHD. No, you don't. Not everyone has a chemical imbalance in their brain, which don't let them switch off, which gives them six or seven voices in their head at the same time. I couldn't sit down and I didn't understand what peace was. So how are you and her now? Bang on. Oh, because of this, Best ever. Best so ever. it's definitely changed. Mate, listen, see all the bits where I'd come home and I'd be on the row before, I'd expect the thing to be normal, yeah? My mind would, can't regulate things, yeah, by itself. So i will be thinking a thousand things. I'd be like, what's the matter with you? Why you got the on for? I actually enjoy being polite and being nice, yeah. I understand where I've gone wrong all these years. I know where I've gone wrong.